Buenos dias muchachos. Today's video is my first impressions of the DJI Osmo Pocket, which I got one day before it was actually released. So I'm not gonna go into any tech specs or all that stuff that you can read on the brochure or any of the videos that have been released of the people that got this before, because they've had it for like two weeks and they've gone through all the settings and showed you how it works and everything. I'm gonna give you a consumer's like actual feedback on like this thing. First of all, I'd like to talk about the weight. This thing is absolutely tiny. It's like, it's not even noticeable. My phone weighs more than this thing. It comes in this awesome case and uh, yeah, that's super thumbs up. The second thing that I wanna talk about is the durability slash feel of it. Um, I have the USB-C adapter because I have a Google Pixel 2. It's like this hard, like kind of textured plastic. It feels dense, like there's nothing jiggling around in there, it's just a solid little nugget of a device. I mean, the gimbal, it's like the same one that you'd get on the Mavic Pro, that it's, it's bomb. The buttons are super clicky. Like, I don't know if you can hear that. I just turned it on. I think if I drop this, it wouldn't break like my Mavic did when I ran it into a house over New Year's. As far as the features go in the actual device, like it's super limited. You can't go into the pro features. You can only shoot, you know, your resolution, whether it's 1080 or 4K, and you can go to 30 frames per second or 40 frames per second. But that's pretty much enough for anybody that doesn't want to like attach their phone and they just shoot around, you know, make a quick video for their Instagram or for their home. Like they're not, I know it's marketed towards YouTubers and like vloggers, but if you just want to make quick home videos with this, it's absolutely amazing. I'm going to tell you why at the end of this video, because I made a little clip. When you do get into pro mode though, I mean, you can go through all the settings. You can get it to 23.9, whatever frames per second or 24 or 25 or 60 or 50. You can do slow-mo, you can do 4K, 1080, all of it. Shutter speed to double your frame rate. So you get that cinematic thing that everybody always talks about, which is really nice. And then you can set your ISO to auto and it actually is a gradual um, ISO. So it, it doesn't step, so you're not like, underexposed and then boom, overexposed. Like it actually gradually transitions into it. So that's really, really nice. Now I am gonna turn it on for you and show you the whole vloggy mode. So you just hit this one button and then it calibrates and then it's all set. And then when you wanna go into selfie mode, you just, with the update now, because before you, it couldn't, you couldn't control the buttons to flip the camera. You had to like go to the touch screen, but they did an update even before the actual release date. So good on you, DJI. So right now I'm recording, I'm showing you guys in my little thing set up and then you triple click it and it goes to my face and then it automatically tracks my face. And so I'm gonna put this in there so you can hear the audio from it. Hopefully it's better than it was before. I have no idea. It sounded super tinny before. And now hopefully it'll get some more bass and you'll see exactly how it sounds. Cause I don't even know. I'll let you know now when I edit it and then I'll give you my opinion right here. Thumbs up DJI. But overall, I mean, it's, it tracks my face super well. So if I'm like, oh, it lost my face. There we go. It's got it again. And you know, I'm running, I'm jogging around my neighborhood, just vlogging. Cause I'm awesome adventurer, arty slash lift driver tutorialist. I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think of the audio and the video and the stability, and I'm gonna give you my opinions too. The image quality on this thing seems to be pretty good. Um, one thing I did notice, that when you're in 4K inside, it's super noisy, like the darks are super noisy, and it had trouble focusing a little bit, like distance-wise, it didn't have that infinity focus. But other than that, like the pictures that I took were great. The panorama feature with the nine block where it takes one here, one here, one here, and whatever. Um, you get a nice like domed version of what you're seeing. So I, I bet it's gonna be amazing for landscapes. I'm definitely gonna wanna check that out in future reviews, but this is just my first look, impression, whatever. So yeah, I'm super jazzed about this thing. It's pocket size. You could just pull it out, turn it on, make the shot, and then, cause my wife hates when I film. She hates it. But if I have this little sneaky bugger to just shoot a quick video, nobody's even gonna know. And that's when you get the best videos is when they're candid. Like nobody's paying attention. Everyone's just being relaxed. They're not like, oh my God, a camera's on me. So I have to cramp up. It's just completely natural. And this thing is super incognito. So I'm gonna use this all the time. I even bought 256 gig 
little micro SD card for it on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. One thing I wanted to put in here was also the quick edit feature from their Mimo app that you have to download so that you can use your phone connected to it. I don't wanna show you that because I don't have another, I have another camera, I just don't wanna show you it. You know what that looks like. But I took some clips that I filmed with my phone while I was in Chicago and then I just tossed it in there and it gives it a couple seconds for the edit and then you know different transitions and it puts text in there. But it turned out really good and it actually kind of looked like Matty Hapoya from Travel Feels. He changed his channel name. But it's got that, I think it's got the exact same song on it and it looks and sounds amazing. So here's a quick preview of that. Yeah, that's a consumer's first impression. I like it. It's totally worth 350 bucks or whatever it was. And I got free shipping and it flew here from China super fast. It was supposed to be released, supposed to be released on the 15th because it's not even on, you can't order it on Amazon yet, but I ordered it when I saw the videos on the internet. I, I only had to watch one video to convince myself to buy it. Like usually I like, wait until version 2.0, but this was an, a no-brainer for me. This thing is gonna be the keystone in my YouTube channel now. Anyway, I hope you guys got some value out of this. Hope it makes you make a decision on buying it or not buying it. And uh, hit the subscribe button if you want more videos like this or tutorials on life, whatever else my channel is about. And I will see you guys in the next video.